Hi there, Tim Fairfield, Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm gonna talk about getting started with the PCI Express traffic analysis system, how to get a link up going. Let's get started. I've pulled up this picture of my setup. Essentially, what I've got here is the exerciser. I've got the backplane that's got a clock, power and all that reset and everything you need to bring up a link. This is doing it outside of an actual uh, real system, and this is good for debugging uh, endpoint devices. So I have the analyzer plugged into the card, and on the top, I have a carrier card with a uh, an SSD card. Actually, my setup right now is a little bit different. I put a Gen 5 device in there. The idea is when everything's going, if we take a look at the front end connectors, make sure that you've got the USB connected on each of on the analyzer and on the exerciser, that you've got power connected here as well. Um, and if we take another view, we've turned on down below. The back plane needs to be on. All these lights should be lit up. If you've done all that, then you're ready to go. Another thing, before we even start the software, if you've started up session and closed sessions, you have a demo system and things aren't starting up correctly, we do have a small utility that actually cleans up resources. So that's just something you should be aware of. Uh, it's called cleanup. And I generally will run that once in a while if sessions are, say, somebody shuts down the system without properly terminating the software. Uh, this will basically reset the platform and uh, restart the resource so there's no issue. And when we're in there, we just double click on there, enter. That's just a good safety to have. And now I'm going to start the traffic analysis GUI. It's located, I put it on the desktop. I'm using version 1.31 right now. That's what I have available to me you may have a newer version. This will also apply to other ones going forward, but this is how it works. And when it comes up, you have an option. You can actually have both running under one window or you can have them in separate windows. The way I like to run it is if I put the exerciser and start it there and say, okay, and let that run. Now I I'll run a second copy and I'll choose the analyzer. So I'm gonna put traffic analysis GUI, I'm gonna run the copy. And when it comes up, I'm going to put the analyzer and then I'm going to put them side by side because what I like to do is be able to play in the exerciser window and play in the analyzer window. The other thing you could do, if you've saved off waveforms, you could load offline and then you can load up your a saved waveform in parallel. So you can make comparisons of what live is, what's going on live now or maybe what you've done in, in a previous session. So that's just something to know that people may not be aware of. I've got this other one here. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to let that launch as well. That'll give it a minute or two and we'll be ready to go. So here we are with the traffic analysis software. So I'm going to put the analyzer on this side and I'm going to put the exerciser on this side. For now, uh, what I'll do is I will put the exerciser. Uh, actually, I'll make the exerciser full window right now, but I like to go back and forth between the two. And we'll look at the analyzer in a second, but let's focus on the exerciser. The first thing I do is pull the, the session, the hardware status window over on this side so I can see what happens when I go in live link. The other thing is you can choose to link train on the upstream or the downstream. Typically downstream will work when you're in the passive backplane. If you forget to do that, you may not have a link up and wonder why. This is why just flip it backwards and then try a link training. The next thing you do is if I hover, I get a tooltip start link training. So let's do that and watch over here on this side of the screen what happens. It'll say, do you want to apply changes? Sure. Now, we have an active link, a buy four, a 32 giga transfers per second, two, five, eight, and 16. I'll talk about how we can limit those in a second. But let's go and now let's put the analyzer on and see what we see going on. We should see flow control packets going across. So let's go do that. First of all, in the analyzer window, I've got trigger here. Uh, let's pull that up. Now I'm running remote on a remote system, so things might load up a little slower. So I uh, basically will trigger on anything and store everything. Okay, and that's what we're doing. And if we wanna check how much memory we're gonna store, I'm gonna store a small amount of memory cause I'm just getting orientation here. So for capture memory depth, it's not the lowest, you could even go faster. Once you go with deeper capture memory depths, then it'll take longer. And if you're just debugging a setup, I, I recommend low, uh, start with a low memory setting first. Okay, we've got that now. The fire off a trigger will be here. We go run that. We should see packets. And we do. So we see it. We've link trained to Gen 5. We got update flow controls. We got flow control traffic. And we've got a bunch of captures. We can do a traffic overview at this point. And let's do that. We'll go compute. And there we go. So we've got uh, basically this is what, what's in that particular capture. 
The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to retrain this. Let's go back to the exerciser again. So let's go back to, let's say I only want a link when a supported link width of one. So a buy one, for instance. So I've got buy one. I'm going to bring the link down. I'm going to retrain the link and then link it up again. Now we're buy one. So as an, the exerciser side forces that into a buy one mode. Let's say we want to do a, a speed change and we only want to go to eight gigabit transfers per second. It's a couple ways to do this. You can even take the link down completely if you want to. So I'm going to do it that way this time. I'm going to take the transmitter link down all together. And then I'm just going to bring that back up. We should go to eight gigatransfers uh, by one. You can do that. You want to test out by two? Pretty, pretty straightforward. Bring the link down. Yes. Bring it back up. There you go. By two, uh, by two, eight gigatransfers. Or if you want to negotiate all the way to 32. So this is essentially how you get started doing this. Now, I'd like to do one more sanity check and then we'll end the video here because this is just a getting started video. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make this a, let's go back to buy four. Let's bring the link down. Yes. And then bring it up. Okay, we've done that. And we're buy four, 32 gig of transfers per second. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to scan the bus and look at, for some of the information on the, let's go pull this over here. Okay, so I've now rearranged the windows again. Now I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to set the trigger. We want to only trigger on, we're going to pack trigger on any packet, a TLP packet, all right here. And then we'll be able to see all the traffic with just that packet. If we want to see all the transactions as well, we have two options. If I want to see the flow control, I can make a much larger capture or we can ignore events as well. Let's do it with the packet and I'll just show you the difference. We're going to apply that. Okay, we've got that. We're going to arm and be ready to go. And then, so we're going to wait until it says waiting for PCI, waiting for PCI trigger. So nothing has triggered yet. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over here into the dot config space and I want to scan it. So this will scan a device, an endpoint device. Let's click it and close the hardware. So we've done that. It scanned the space. And of course, we've got a config and then a completion has come through. And so we can see a successful completion. And the other thing the exerciser can do, let's just bop this over here, is we can click into these and look at what did it scan. So it's a micron crucial technology. Uh, there's basically nothing going on here. Now, this is pretty much empty and blank. Now I'm gonna populate bus master, memory space, and the base address register. And when I do that, um, so we'll just load these up here, memory space and base address. I'm gonna make the base address E0000004. Let's do that. So the way you do that is you enter the number, you download it to the dot, and then you, you're gonna read it back to make sure it's stuck and download it and read it back. Okay, so software's telling us it's in there. I want to go and see now with the analyzer when I do a, another bus scan, what happens? So if I go out here, come back in, we can actually scan this config space again. So let's do that. So this time though, in the traffic analysis window, what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter out all the flow control and all that. I don't want to see that. I just want to see what packets went through and were there completions and get a statistics on it. Just before we do that, we get a flow control. We've got a completion with data config and config rights and that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to do is when I go back into the trigger menu, I can say, okay, filter off. Um, so filtering means I want to filter everything but TLP. So I want to see any TLP. So if it, it's checked, it means it's going to ignore it. If it's going to store it, it's going to be any TLP. And remember, we have a lot of memory set now, and I'm only doing a handful of transactions. So in that case, I am really going to have to then stop this because you'll see what happens. So let's arm this and get it ready. Processing. It's waiting down here saying processing. Waiting for the trigger. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna to go to dot config space. I'm gonna download. Oh, I should have basically just done it. So I've done a download at this point. We're filling memory. So it's already starting to fill memory, but it hasn't finished because it's only storing what I wanted. So let's just 
pop a couple of these to read back these addresses and so forth. And it's only, and I'm taking seconds between these readbacks, right? So we should be able to see what's happening. So I'm going to stop the analyzer at this point. And now you see all the transactions I put through. Now we can do the flow control. So we've done seven transactions. And what what's also interesting is we can do a transaction decode and that'll bring the transactions together. So we've got a config reads. We can get some config reads right here. So we basically captured, let's open this up a little wider now. Let's make this the front and center. And now we see the completion ID, what information has come through, but we've got ourselves an SSD controller. We've got the subclass. It's a mass storage controller and payload. So that's how you get started. And when you start to debug, if you want to start looking at logical issues, you're going to start wanting to look at uh, filtering out all those other packets. If you're getting into issues where there's deadlock and live lock situations and you want to see what's going on with flow control in the middle of that, then you want to probably put everything on the screen and capture a deep memory. So a very deep memory. And then we will still get these. Um, so this gets you started and we'll see you in the next video.